The Decepticons, on the other hand, chose monstrous creatures, becoming feared as demons by early man. After many battles, the Autobots succeeded in defeating and sealing them away. Blood, the pyramids of Egypt Gilmer, the ruins of Atlantis Doros, beneath the Nazca Lines in Peru, yeet for thousands of years. Liberated in the near future by mysterious Decepticon, God, Devil Z, the three Decepticons enter his service, and immediately begin to draw the Autobots out of hiding, before they turn their combined attention to a series of plans to acquire energy and to disrupt one of the three Chokan powers on Earth. After a string of failures, Devil Z supplants them with his more powerful Godmaster minions, and although they would often participate in missions, their standing was downgraded and their regularity of appearance on the battlefield diminished. Eventually, they generally only served to supply comic relief, and departed Earth with the other surviving Decepticons when Devil Z was destroyed. Along the way, the Autobots had been joined by Grand Maximus, who was not only a pretender but a headmaster. Pretender. Fiction. Japanese The Transformers Cartoon Continuity Victory Pretender Fiction Japanese The Transformers Cartoon Continuity Victory Pretender technology had advanced to the point that the shells gained sentience, as seen with the shells of the Dino Force, and could be employed simultaneously with the Transformers robot modes. Pretender Fiction Post-Marvel Generation 1 Comics Dreamwave Pretender technology was originally developed as a form of additional body armor. Pretender shells can enhance their wearer's physical strength and resistance to damage. More advanced shell designs could shrink down to human size and enable their wearer to blend into Earth society unnoticed. It is possible that the Pretender technology was later adapted to develop the Maximal and Predacon beast modes. Note, Pretenders were only mentioned in the Transformers, more than meets the eye handbooks for Dreamwave, and did not appear in the actual continuity. Pretender. Fiction. Post-Marvel Generation 1 Comics. IDW This section covers fiction that is ongoing. It will be added to as the story progresses. If it isn't current, you can help by updating it. The technology was the invention of Thunderwing, 
and used living tissue that had been painfully culled from live, quite possibly unwilling, subjects to create a powerful symbiotic, living carapace. The goal of this technology was to allow Transformers to survive an impending environmental collapse on their home planet, Cybertron. Even Megatron rejected the concept as unnatural and repulsive. Both cases where the technology was implemented ended in disaster as the melding of the robot's mind with the shell was improperly aligned or hastily executed. Subject 1, the technology's inventor himself, became unfathomably powerful but totally insane and destructive. Subject 2, Bludgeon, tried to rush the process and ended up comatose inside his new shell. It is unknown if research will continue further, but it seems rather unlikely given the moral issues and planetary level threat posed by Thunderwing. Stormbringer spoiler warning. Plot and or ending details for Spotlight, Hardhead follow. Of course, Jetfire of all bots decided that they needed the technology to penetrate the portal at the Benzuli expanse. Optimus Prime was a little hesitant on the subject, but Jetfire managed to convince the Autobot leader. The Autobots selected for the process were Cloudburst, Landmine, Groundbreaker, and Waverider. Note. The term, Pretender, is not used at all during the Stormbringer series. Instead, the term, Polydermal Grafting, is used to further illustrate how repulsive, grotesque and dangerous the process appears to be. Pretender. Fiction. Shattered Expectations Pretender. Fiction. Shattered Expectations Goldbug, Grimlock, and Jazz sneak into a Pretender laboratory. There are at least six Pretender shells, including four classic Pretender shells and two double Pretender shells. Also, Dirge appears as a Pretender. Shattered Expectations Pretender. Fiction. Revenge of the Fallen A Pretender known as Alice infiltrates Sam's college. In the novelization of Revenge of the Fallen, it reveals she transcanned an Alice in Wonderland animatronic robot. She is killed by Michaela Baines after rampaging through Sam's college in search of him and causing massive damage. Note. Alice is not a traditional pretender. She transformed into an organic humanoid instead of having an outer shell. The confirmation of her as a pretender came from an interview with Roberto O.R.C.I.